30 years ago, a special potential of geothermal energy for Hawaii was much in the news. The state government mapped geothermal heat and supported drilling geothermal test wells in the Kilauea Volcano East Rift Zone in the Puna region of the island of Hawaii. When this initiative was met by protests and lawsuits, landowners and investors wavered. The public was left with the impression that geothermal had been done in by environmental and native Hawaiian opposition. This is false, with state and federal support. A 3 megawatt test well drilled in 1982 evolved into a 25 to 30 megawatt producing well in 1993. An Israeli company, Ormat Technologies, was brought in to run the project. Their contract with HECO guarantees Ormat Technologies a sale price tied not to their real costs, but to the cost of producing energy as if the original source was world oil. The result is that Puna Geothermal in its present form does nothing to lower the rate that the public pays for electricity. In fact, it has resulted in rate payers being charged the highest rates in the nation. It is only in light of ever-rising electricity costs and also improved technologies that a public discussion of geothermal has been resumed. A Hawaii-based company, Innovations Development Group, has played a leading role in that discussion. In the belief that the energy equation of the island of Hawaii can be changed, a certain level of opposition remains, but public sentiment has shifted substantially behind the geothermal option. Electric bills can go down with the cooperation of politicians, HECO, and the PUC. The environment can be cared for in culturally sensitive ways with real community involvement. New enterprises can spring up. But to achieve results, we must have a broad public dialogue which until recently has been lacking. And from this dialogue, we must arrive at clear thinking and make clear commitments. <laughs>